Hey, hey, this is Latoya, and I'm back with another dash. So I'm starting a little early today. I usually start around 11 or 12, but it's I started at 10, 10 actually on the dot, but it took like 20 minutes for an order to come in. So now I'm at Jersey Mike's, and I just picked up the order, and I'm on my way. Okay, so while at Jersey Mike's waiting for that order, I got an add-on order for Chipotle down the street. So the Jersey Mike's order took a few minutes. So by that time, the app told me to go directly to the house to deliver the um, Jersey Mike order. But what I should have did was just picked up the Jersey Mike and then went straight to Chipotle to pick that order up. Then deliver both orders because it's right down the street from each other. But by the time Jersey Mike's came out, I forgot about the Chipotle order. So I drove like, how far was it? It was only five minutes away. I drove and actually delivered Jersey Mike's and then had to come all the way back to Chipotle and then deliver Chipotle. So it was kind of like a back and forth where I should have just picked up both or orders at the restaurant. But whatever. <laughs> so now I'm at Dairy Queen and I'm about to pick up an order. Okay, y'all, so I got an order at Manhattan Bar and Grill. So hopefully the order's ready. Okay, so the order was right on the table. So I was in and out. Okay, so I have an order for Red Robin Restaurant. <laughs> This sun is right in my face. It is sunny out here today. It's like 35 degrees, something like that. But the sun makes it hot. Like I had to unzip my coat. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this order is over $9. My last order was over, actually like it was like $13 with taxes. So I'm getting some pretty good orders. I drove about 13 minutes. So not bad. Okay, so I'm here at Chipotle and I have a double order. So here we go. Oh yeah, let me tell you about my last delivery. Oh, it was for a apartment. Somebody lived in an apartment that I had to deliver to. And you know apartments, sometimes it could be a trip if you can't find where it's at. So I looked in the notes and it just said, buzz in, buzz to get in. So I sent my text. I always send a text letting people know that I'm on my way because DoorDash doesn't send an automatic text. They send an alert. They let them know, but that's an actual text from me. So I sent the text and then they said, um, thank you, make sure to follow the directions that I gave you because people seem to get lost here. I'm like, oh no. But I was familiar with the apartments because I've been there several times, but it can get, get confusing. It's a lot, they're like all stacked together. So I'm like, is this gonna take forever? But thankfully, um, I found the address. I went right to the address and just had to walk a little bit down and she was outside and just took the order. So I'm like, thank God, cause ain't nothing like wasting five, 10 minutes looking for a apartment address. So I'm about to pick up this Chipotle order. Okay, so I just got an order for Chick-fil-A. So here we go. Okay, y'all, I dropped off my last order and now I'm at McDonald's. I'm in the drive through line and it looks to be moving pretty good. So let's get this money. Okay, so it was moving when I first got in line, but now it's at a standstill. So 
I don't know what's going on, but I don't like sitting in line. <laughs> and the sun is right in my face. Oh, the sun. Okay. So I delivered the McDonald's order and it was, that line took long. There was a car broken down like on the side, not in the drive through line, but on the side of the parking lot. And there was a McDonald's worker that was helping him. So maybe that's why it took so long. But I delivered that order and now I'm at Chipotle. And I have, I actually have a double order. One for Chipotle and one for Wingstop. So here we go. Okay, y'all. So I'm at Chick-fil-A and, um... I delivered the double order it seemed like it took forever I mean it didn't but it just <laughs> seemed like I was on the road for like hours but I'm at Chick-fil-a and I am a few dollars away from $100 so my goal today was a hundred and I'm gonna hit a hundred I'm gonna keep going so I'll be over a hundred yes I love it <laughs> Okay, so I delivered that last order and that took me to $99.21. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so close. So now I just got an order for Marco's Pizza and it's for over $10. So I'm over that $100. That's all I wanted for today because yesterday I couldn't dash at all because there was a snowstorm the night before and the snow had accumulated on the ground. So I just wanted that to be to make sure that was all like melted away so I didn't even go anywhere yesterday so the sun is out the snows melted and I took advantage of today okay so I just went into Marco's Pizza and they said it will be about 10 more minutes so just waiting I already made my goal so I'm cool to wait I'm good with that Okay, y'all, so this will be my last delivery. Um, I just accepted a delivery for Chipotle for over $7. So this is the most I've ever made with DoorDash in one day. So, Yay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you watched this far, because I know this video is going to be long, you obviously like me, right? So I'm going to need you to subscribe. I'm going to do a DoorDash q and I'm going to be answering a lot of the questions you may have about DoorDash. And if you're just curious about what happens behind the scenes, you know, go check out my channel. And I'll be doing more entrepreneurial ventures in the future as well. So make sure to subscribe. And also, if you're interested in signing up for DoorDash, my DoorDash referral code is always in my description box. So make sure to click the link in the description box to sign up for DoorDash if you're interested. And I will see you next time. Peace.